everyone. Hello, Amnesty International. Ooh, it's hot. My name is Christian Asari, and I will be teaching a contemporary dance Vogue class um, for Amnesty International for Pride Inside. Okay, so a little bit about Vogue. Vogue started in the 1980s. Um, sorry, in the 1960s in the Harlem ballroom scene. Um, and it started in the ballroom scene, I say ballroom scene, I mean underground um, dance scene. And it was the underground dance scene that was started by people of colour because racism basically meant that they weren't really allowed in all of the middle to upper class clubs. So they would make their own spaces and they would make their own styles of movement and they would take their inspiration from Vogue um, magazines where they would see a lot of models who would be styled in really beautiful ways. And they would take from that and embody it in the ways that made sense to them. So with that being said, there are about three different ways of voguing. That's not three. This is three. There we go. All right. So there's, <laughs> there's three different um, styles of voguing. There's old way, which is really angular. Um, it has a lot of lines, a lot of shapes. It's very old school. It's very grand. It's very... I'm not very good at old school, but it's very lovely. I like it a lot. Um, and then there's New Way, which involves a bit more flexibility, a bit more panache, a bit more finesse. Um, and it basically allows you to involve a lot of other styles of dance, um, such as contemporary jazz, um, just general jazz, American jazz, swing. There's so many different styles you can add into there. Um, but I really like New Way. Um, and then there's also Vogue Femme. And Vogue Femme is a stylization of New Way whereby you accentuate your more feminine characteristics. Um, so with that being said, I'm assuming everyone's kind of already warm because it's, it's, it's hot, it's hot, hot. So with that being said, I'm just kind of going to jump straight in. I'm going to put some music on. But before I put the music on, I'm going to teach you two, no, three. Let's do three. I think you guys can, you can handle three. We're going to do three phrases that are kind of Vogue-esque just to warm up our shoulders, just to warm up our arms, to warm up all of this because you'll be using it to Vogue, otherwise you will have lots of cramps in literally a day or two. Um, all right, so the first movement, we start at our shoulders, we roll around our ears, and we put our fingers forward. Now you have to think you have acrylic nails on, and each of these fingers you spent at least $200 on, and you wanna make sure that they see all of this glory. So every time you put your fingers forward, Right, so you have one, spin around, two, then you reverse it, spin around, three. You want to imagine you've got a lovely bob that goes just over your head like so, and it ends here, and you have a lovely fringe above it, and you want to manipulate that with every flick of the hand. So with that being said, we have shoulders, we have round, we have front, and you reverse it round to the shoulders. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, that's the first movement. The second one we can do is, hmm, what can I test you with? What can I test you with? What can I test you with? Okay, the second one we should do should go One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so we've got one at the side, two at the top, three at the front, four at the top, one at the side, two at the top, three at the front, four at the top. All right, so got those two in. The third one, very, very, very Vogue. Every time you Vogue, you're really trying to accentuate your face. You're trying to show them all of this money-making goodness right here. So every time you move, you try and frame your face. We also do something called taps. And taps are just to accentuate each part of your body when you are voguing. So with that being said, I say that a lot, don't I? But it's quite fun. Um, it's just keeping me on track. Y'all just chill with me, okay? So, um, 
where was I? There we are. So we've got the first one here. One, two, three, four, five. One. So that's the first one. Is everyone okay? We're all together? Okay. Second one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the third one, which I was explaining, and I got sidetracked. Let's get back to it, the face. Right, so we're going to do this one, tapping these two, and we're going to cross them, framing the face, crossing over, two, tapping your shoulders on either side here. These shoulders right here, lovely. Back over, there. So we're doing one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. So we have three phrases that we can use and tie together for a basic mode warm up. This is just a warm up. I will teach, hopefully, um, a little bit of choreography that I made that is a new way. But this is just to get your arms and your shoulders warm and ready for that so that you don't get any trapped nerves, no ligaments hurting, none of that. All right. So if we were to put them all together, we'll do four of each phrase. The first one being one, Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The second one. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two. Three, four, third one. One, two, three. Hold for four. Tap. One, two, three. Hug for four. And one, two, three. Hold for four. And one, two, three. Hold for four. All right. So with those warm-ups in mind, your arms should be tinging a little bit here. And just a little bit here. You should be feeling it. If you're not feeling it, you're not doing it right. It should hurt in a really lovely way. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to put on some music and then we're going to do this as a warm-up. So we're going to go through it once really slowly at a half count. And by half count, I mean at half time. And then the second time, we're going to do it a little bit faster just to really get our blood going. All right, one moment. Let me get my music together. Alright, we've got some music. Little John, work. So what we're going to do is do three phrases twice. First time slowly, second time a bit faster, okay?
switched it up, but I enjoyed it. Let's turn this down. So that was a nice warm up. We're going to do that again. Once slow and once fast, okay? Try that again, and hopefully I can get the phrasing right because I'd know that the music was going to finish. I promise that's what it was. I'm saving myself, but it's true. <laughs> All right, let's get this track going. Oh, the joys of the internet. All right, we're going to try that warm up fast. Twice over. So to remind yes, ourselves, John again, I start one. This one here is for the ladies that like to dance. Yeah. Hold on, no, no, no. The ladies that like to work. Work your body. Two. Work those hips. Work your body. Work those Three. hips. Work your body. Work those phrases. hips. Work your body. Work those hips. Two. Roll. One. Work. Roll. Work. Three. Roll. One. Work. Roll.
Okay, so picking up where we left off, which I believe was here, we've just done the tail, we've done the tail, we've got over, we've got here. So we go fairly up, and we look slightly to the left. And the idea is we want to think that there's a plane here that's flat, right? And we want to keep that plane flat all the time. So whatever things that we do, we want to keep within this plane of movement all the time. We never want to be in front of it or slightly behind it. So, from here, you bend your arms to one, look inside two, go out three, four. So the idea is you're trying to keep your elbows and your decolletage on one flat line. And you're trying to move the rest of your arms around on this line, okay? And you're making geometric shapes with your body. So we've got here, we go one, two, three. From here, we change the body's direction. The body's currently facing here, the head's currently facing. So we change everything. Four, go back up five, back up six, and we come back to the center, seven. And we look up ever so slightly and turn the palms from facing down to up, eight. Okay, so we'll try that all together with the beginning choreography, and then we'll try it with me. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over, one. Two, flat back, three, stand, four, bend, five, look, six, then seven, eight, turn, two, up, three, four, look, five. All right, I hope everyone got that. We'll try that with music and see how that feels. We'll try it two times slowly and we'll try it two times fast and we'll just see how that looks, all right. two times slowly and then we're going to try it two times fast just adding on what we've got up until this point five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four two five six two seven eight over one two Stand four, then five, look six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, look up, five. Okay? Slow again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over, one. Two, flat, three, stand, four, bend, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, look up, five. Okay, we're gonna try that fast and just see how that feels. I know it's a bit daunting, but we're just gonna go through it a couple of times just to see how it feels, okay? One, two, three, four, one, two, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, slow, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, look up, five, Okay, now we're gonna go fast. Six, seven, eight.
take a little break, get some water, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Even if uh, I feel uh, afraid, uh, I'm not allowed. I carry these letters. I've got them as a sort of, um, how to say, a sort of talisman. You can't uh, even feel how much strength it gives. everyone. Um, I had to move inside because I was losing light outside, so welcome to my studio. It's cute to like it. It's just my artwork. It's how I roll. Um, we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, I believe it was here. So, from here, I want you to imagine that you're using your fingertips to circle your ears. So you circle one ear, replace it. Circle the other ear and replace it. After that, you're going to do the same movement again, but this time you're going to use the heels of your palms. So you're going to circle with the heel of your palm, a bit like a cap, and then again with the heel of your palm. So all together, from here, it would be finger, finger, heel, heel. From there, you're going to place the arms one off the other, left and then right back to this position. So, adding that on, from the beginning, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, remember to frame your face, <laughs> seven, eight, one, two, three, four, raise five, six, up seven, eight, over one, two, flat, three, step four, up five, Six, turn seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, up six, circle seven, eight, and one, end. It's quite fast. It's circle, 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 bam, bam. Okay? So, with that being said, we're here. From here, I want you to imagine, we're just saying, in this hand, put it here. Okay? So you're going, end. From here, you're circling your thumb round, symmetry, you want to get this shape, okay? So basically what you've done is, you've gone from here, right, okay? So you've gone one, two, tap, 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 there, there, see this thumb up's already, you just match it, then you push the thumb all the way through, round, change them, to end up in this position. Alright. So going from here, we've got circle, circle, wrist, wrist, place, place, tap, tap, through, up. From here, we go straight down. We always want to keep very clean lines and very clean shapes. So from here, it's a very sharp movement. Boom. Okay. So from here, adding that all in, we've got five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, three. From here, four. So you want to think of a straight line going through your body all the way down. And you're matching that line. Okay? Try and keep these as horizontal as possible. Physically, it's Doable, depending on how flexible you are. If you don't have the flexibility, try and get as close as you can. But you want to be there. Yes. All right. So from the beginning, adding that on slowly. Six, seven, eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, over one, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Change directions. Two, three, four. Look up. Circle, circle. Place, place. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to go get some music. Two seconds. Wait, no, let's try it two more times slowly and then I'll get the music on. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, three, four. Yes. All right. One more time. Faster. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, six, eight. Ka boom, ba ta boom boom. Ta boom boom ba ta boom boom. Ka boom boom. Ta boom. Ka boom boom ba ta boom boom. Ta boom. Ka boom 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 ba ta boom boom. Ba boom boom boom. Ka boom. I like using beats sometimes instead of music. <laughs> Um, let me get some music and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so we've just ended choreography here. We need to try it with music. We're going to try it two times slowly and then we're going to try it two times fast. All right, Alexa, play Elements of Vogue. On Spotify. I couldn't find elements of fog. Alexa, play elements of Vogue on Spotify. Elements of Vogue, David DiPino, 1989, original mix by David E. Extravaganza from Spotify. All right. So here we go, everyone. We're going to try it two times slowly. Actually, let's try it one time very, very slowly, just to recap it. And then we'll try it one time at general speed and then two times fast. All right, here we go. It's going to be very slow, just so we can recap it together. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay, five, one more 
total time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. From five, we are going to continue the choreography. Alexa, pause music. My digital sister from another Mr. Alexa, thank you. All right, so from here, we're at five. I want you to imagine there's a pane of glass going up your face, splitting you straight down the middle, all right? So with that being said, your arms are placed, so your hands are placed on this glass. So you want to slide your arm up this, slide around your head, to here, alright? This is one movement, and you want to try and maintain as much of an angle as you can each time. You have an angle here, you have an angle here, you have an angle here. Each time you want to try and maintain as much geometry in your body as you can. Alright, so from here, we slide up, we go past the face, then we go onto the face, round, that's one movement. From here, I want you to simply extend this hand straight up. And then imagine you've got a basketball and you're putting it in the net. Alright, so from here, we've gone one and two. Then we've got three and four. Then you simply bend at the elbow, five and six, you rest this on your head, right? Clean lines, can you see that? Lovely, all right. And this is here, all right? And you're always on that line, you're flat. You're not ahead, you're not behind yourself, all right? So, from here, we slide up and through, over and a loop, bend to here, and you drop this elbow, sorry, not elbow, hand. You drop this hand, there we go. Now, when you drop that hand, I want you to imagine you've got um, a really tight ponytail. I naturally wouldn't, but imagine you did. Um, and it goes all the way up here, and it's right up here. But annoyingly, it's just at the side of your head, and you want it to be right on the top, right? So, when you bring this arm down, you want to imagine you grab your ponytail and you whip it behind you and you place it in front of you, okay? So you go whip and across and you're trying to get this lovely symmetry here, this lovely breaking of your face as a visual, okay? That lovely breaking of the face, yes, okay. So, adding from here, we would have one and two. Alley loop three and four, bend to the elbow five, six, whip the ponytail seven and eight. From here, you're going to go straight into prayer again one, and then you're going to open it again two. So you're basically swapping sides of the same movement that you just did. Okay, one and two. So we're going to go from the beginning and then we're going to recap all of that and add that in. And then I'm going to teach you the last bits of the choreography, and then we're going to tie that all together. So from the beginning, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is your next movement, okay? So from here, you simply lean forward, all right? But when you lean forward, my legs are together at the moment. Generally, I would like your legs to be get together for this because it makes your next movement easier. From here, I'm standing in... Um, Gosh, my ballet is terrible. I've never remembered it. Third or fifth, one or the other. Um, so I'm simply bending at the hip and cocking this leg 
to meet it so that my elbow and my knee and my chin are all in the same line. Does that make sense? Cool. So from here, we slide up and two, alley oop, and four, bend five, and six, whip seven, and eight, pray one, change two, bend three. All right. So now that you've bent at three, this arm is going to travel to your shoulder to four. This is going to travel here, five. Then you're going to change and open, six. Okay. I feel like I've gone really fast. Um, so let's try it with music up to where we've gotten. And then we'll do it all again and I'll teach the last two phrases and we'll finish it off with some performance. All right. Two tickles. All right. So we're going to try it at normal pace once, adding on what we've learned, and then we're going to try it fast twice, adding on what we've learned, and then we're going to learn the last bit of the phrase. Here we go. One. Two. That's really slow. <laughs> Let's try again. Here we go. Music. Here we go. That pace. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Adding that in, okay? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, we're going to try it fast. Oh. Two for your recreation of personal Alexa, decrease volume by three. So when you're voguing, you want to inject a bit of you into what you do. The whole point of this is that you're celebrating your individuality. So now that I've taught you like a general structure of how to do things, a general base, a general shape, a general line, um, the voguing element really comes from you. 
So I would say at this point, inject a bit of performance, inject an element of you can uniqueness that you know no one else can bring to the table. Because I know it's there. Okay. So we're going to try that again, two times at normal pace and two times fast, and this time we're going to perform it. And the ideology of this is you really want to get the camera, right? You really want to enjoy yourself in the moments in between, in the moments in between, in every bit in between, you really want to give them something. All right, so we're going to try that again, two times slow, two times fast, and all four times we're going to be performing it as opposed to just moving in it. All right, here we go. Alexa, increase volume by three. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Volume is a composition. Both rethink your opposition. Adjust against your inhibition elements of vogue. Aim for several exhibitions. Give your very own rendition. Assume your first attack position. Now vogue. That was slow. We're gonna try it fast. Here we go. <laughs> I'm waiting for a phrase in the music. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, last two phrases, last two bits of the phrases, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Actually, let's do it fast one more time. Messing up my carpet. <laughs> Alright, let's do it fast one more time. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, eight, two, four, five, Here we go. Eight. Let me pause that. Alexa, pause music. My girl. All right. So, we just ended on either six or five, whichever you want to call it. I don't really work to counts. I usually work to beats. So, let's recap, rather. Let's go from here. We've gone circle, 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 circle. Place, place. Tap, tap. Through. Down. Here. Through angle, alley, oop, bend at the elbow with the ponytail, pray and change to here. All right, when you're here, all I want you to do is think, I've got two hands, right? And they're both technically supposed to be kind of in front of you like this, right? So what you want to do is you want to cross this hand here, one, and... Okay, and then you want to turn to make this, okay, but diagonally. I'll explain, I know that was fast. Okay, so. From here, you're simply stepping forward on the leg that's cocked. Remember this one that's bent? Stepping forward on it and hugging yourself. There we go. And then from there, you're turning opening. So, from here, you step on this leg, and you hug. One. Then you step on the opposite leg, the left leg, and you turn and open your chest. Two. Then you simply drop the arms, three, to here, on the hips, and you do something what we call um, an inverted pose. Usually when you pose, 
you have your hands on your hips. Your spine would be out, like so. You'd have your normal curvature. In an inversion, you'd be inverting your spine to pose. So you'd be bending it in the opposite direction to what it usually is. With that being said, you'd be going from here, across, open, down, invert. And then you're just going to walk off because you've had enough and it's your time. Um, and that's where we're going to end the choreography. So, going from here, just to add that all in, you go up the hand, wrap to six, alley loop to eight, bend open the elbow, whip the ponytail to the front of the face, prayer, hop it around, cock the knee at the same time, then you step into a hug, open it out. Invert. When you invert, you can take it any way you want to. You can invert on one, you can invert on two. Just make it awkward and beautiful at the same time, because we all are. Um, so, I'm going to recap all of that choreography, and then we're going to go through it three times with the music, and then we're going to call it a wonderful, wonderful class. And thank you for having me. I'm Mr. International. I appreciate you. <laughs> so, let's wrap that up one more time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over one, two, flat, three, up, four, bend, five, up, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, look up, five. Circle six and seven and eight and one, two, up, three, down, four, and five, six and seven, eight and one, two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight and. All right. You'll notice I count on the half beats rather than the eight, and that's because I have a lot of. Um, Influence from jazz music and jazz dancing, which is usually counted on the off rhythm rather than the on beat um, And that's something that, be, that, be, that can be Quite fun to experiment with as far as vocal beats and vocal culture. So that's why I would describe what I do as I guess Vogue choreography, but not necessarily vogue per se Not the roots of vogue culture, which a lot of people are a lot more versed in With that being said, let's get some music popping Alexa Play Elements of Vogue on Spotify. Oh My Love, Elements oh. Mixed by John Lennon from Spotify. Alexa, stop. Oh. She violent. Alexa, play Elements of Vogue on Spotify. Elements of Vogue, David DiPino, 1989, original mix by David Ian Extravaganza from Spotify. Three times, okay? Three times fast. Remember, we go from here, across, open, step out, invert. Alright? And take your time with that invert. Really enjoy it. Milk it out. Okay? So, we're going to recap it once slowly. I know we said three times fast. We'll do one slowly for everyone else. And then we'll do it three times in a row fast. And that's class. Alright, here we go. Five. And please perform it. Please perform it, okay? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, and three, four, and five, and 
right, we're gonna try it fast. Here we go. Three times. Perform it, everyone. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. And that's class with Christian. Thanks for having a good day and good night. <laughs>